Welcome back loves. Today's look is this fresh faced makeup look for spring with this BAM pop of color on the lips. <laughs> and guess what? Everything is 100% drugstore. So don't you worry about a thing girl, I got you. We're gonna start with clean skin and for my primer I'll be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Whew, that's a long name. Why do they always make them so long? Anyways, this primer reminds me a lot like the, or of the Benefit Professional. If you guys have ever tried that primer, it's that really silicone-y type of primer that will eliminate any shine on the face and just create a really smooth canvas for foundation. Next, I'll be trying out these new e.l.f. beauty sponges for the first time and using my go-to foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I'm just gonna blend that right into my skin and guess what? I ended up liking it. I thought that it was really nice and bouncy and blended the foundation really well. So I do recommend it. It's a great alternative to the Beauty Blender. It doesn't perform as good. Of course, it's a drugstore product, but it's a pretty good alternative. Next, I'll be using this ELF foundation brush, and I'm just going to use this to bring the foundation all the way down to my neck, and this was also my first time trying it. I did really like it also, and this is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, which is, by the way, my favorite drugstore concealer ever, ever, ever. So I love this stuff, and it reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It has that same sort of gel, uh, very fluid consistency. And I really love the fact that this has a sponge tip applicator. It just makes it so easy to apply. And I'm also going to be using the smaller version of this beauty sponge, which is so darn cute. I'm so glad that they make a smaller size because it's so perfect for just blending out that under eye concealer. Now to set everything, I'll be taking the NYX HD Studio Translucent Powder and I'm just gonna do this old school way and set it with a blending brush. This is how I used to do it back in the day before baking and all of that, so I might actually just go back to this again because it just gives a really nice and natural finish, doesn't dry out my under eyes, and it's just so easy. Next, I'm taking this palette by Pixie Beauty. This is the Strobe and Skull palette, and this is a collaboration they did with Miriam. I'll link her down below, but she's an awesome makeup artist and YouTube as well. And I'm taking this gray color and using this e.l.f. contour brush to really carve out my cheekbones and create shadow. And I really love the fact that this is so nice and gray because when you're creating shadow and contouring your face, you do want to use a more grayish color as opposed to a bronzer. It's going to really create that dimension. Now to contour my nose, I'm going to take that same grayish color in the middle of the palette and just taking a blending brush and going down the sides of my nose and making sure everything connects to my eyebrows. And I really want to emphasize the highlight down my nose. So I'm just taking that same concealer and please excuse the ambulance in the back. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I live in New York City, so it's just another day in the neighborhood. Next, I'm just taking my Real Techniques brush and applying the bronzer over the contour that I did. And I feel like this just makes the contour look so much more natural. It adds this nice warmth on the face. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Now I'm going to take this nice goldy highlight in the palette and I'm going to apply this highlight uh, above my cheekbones. And you guys, this palette is bomb. I'm literally using it for my entire face and I'm also going to be using it for the eyes. So this palette is just sort of a one and done deal. So now I'm trying out this e.l.f. blush palette for the first time and I have to say I wish it was a little bit more pigmented because I really had to go in there with my brush and I still was not seeing the color. But anyways, moving on to eyes, I'm applying an eye primer and I'm actually just using my concealer that I used earlier and taking an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush to blend all of that out. And taking my translucent powder again and setting the concealer, just creating a really nice and smooth canvas for eyeshadow. Moving on to brows, I'm using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, and my routine has changed so much the past few months. I literally just let them grow out, I no longer fill them in, and I just put a brow gel through them. So natural brows are sort of my thing right now, and this is all I do. 
All right, I wasn't kidding when I said I use this palette for everything. Now I'm going to be using it as eyeshadows. So I'm just taking that bronzer that I used on my face and applying this on my eyes, taking an eyeshadow brush, applying that on the lid, and then taking a blending brush right after and just adding some more bronzer. But I'm just really going for that bronzy, um, very sun-kissed look on the eyes and the face. So that is what's happening. And dipping right back into the palette, I'm taking that goldy highlight and applying that in my tear duct and taking this e.l.f. pencil brush and applying a little bit of that bronzer on my lower lash line. Next, I'm taking the NYX liquid eyeliner and you guys probably know this is my favorite drugstore liquid eyeliner if you have seen my drugstore liquid eyeliner video and if you haven't, I will link it down below. But I really love this eyeliner. It's just super black, really waterproof, doesn't transfer, doesn't budge all day, and the applicator tip is so flexible. It's really easy to work with. It's amazing. And for mascara, I have the classic L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black, and I'm just applying that on my lashes, my non-existent lashes after lash extensions, by the way. And I'm taking this Ardell um, Glamour Wispies and I reuse them a million thousand times which is why I can't show you the pretty box. But I'm just applying that with some tweezers. All right, to finish off this look, I'll be using the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is such a pretty orangey kind of red. And I love, love this product. Like, I can't believe this is drugstore. It's amazing. And it's super pigmented. I mean, come on. It speaks for itself. And to set my makeup, I'll be using the Pixie Beauty Makeup Fixing Mist. And this is the one that has rose water and green tea. And let me tell you guys, it smells freaking amazing. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.